In this quick tip, we'll take a look at the new follow filters in ProShow 9. New in both ProShow Gold and Producer version 9, follow filters allow you to make images, photos, or captions follow each other around a slide. Unlike motion filters or slide styles, follow filters are not preset motion effects. Instead, they're more like shortcuts that you can use to affect one layer's motion based on what another layer is doing. To apply a follow filter, first, you'll need at least two objects in your slide. For now, Let's use two image layers. Next, you'll need to apply some kind of motion. Select layer 1, then under the Settings tab in Layer Setup, I'll set the zoom to 45%, then move the layer up to the top left corner and add some rotation. Next, I'll click on the Effects tab and add some motion. Let's click the ending position and let's make layer 1 rotate, zoom in, and move toward the middle of the slide. Now let's select layer 2 and click on the Filters tab above the preview. In the Follow Filters pane, choose the target. The target will be the object you want your selected layer to follow. In this case, we want to follow the movements we just added to layer 1. Next, we need to select which aspects of the target we want layer 2 to follow. So let's click the Position, Zoom, and Rotation options. This tells layer 2 to follow the Position, Zoom, and Rotation settings for layer 1. If we preview the slide, right now we won't be able to see layer 2. That's because the Follow filter is matching all of layer 1's settings, and layer 1 is on top. So let's adjust the offsets for the follow filter so that we can see layer 2. First, let's increase the zoom to 200%. Now, the follow filter is telling layer 2's zoom value to be 200% greater than whatever the zoom value happens to be for layer 1. When we play the slide again, as layer 1 zooms in, layer 2 will also zoom, and layer 2 will always be 200% larger. Now for some additional creative flair, we can also adjust the position and rotation offsets here, or by clicking and dragging the layer in the preview. Different combinations of filters can yield a wide variety of results, so be prepared for some trial and error, especially when combining follow filters with other filters and effects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our blog, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.